What's up guys, welcome to your 36th Java tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a time class. Now what a time class is, is it's pretty much a separate class that has a bunch of different time functions and I'm going to allow the user to enter three numbers, one for the hour, minute, and seconds and it's going to convert that into military time and regular time. And we're going to be needing this um, information for the next couple tutorials so make sure you build this with me. So first, let's go ahead in our tuna class right here. Make sure you're outside your main class. And I'm going to go ahead and build three variables. And they're going to be private variables. So not private, private, same thing, right? And uh, make sure they're integer variables, one for hour, and another one for minute, and another one for second. So just copy that because I'm lazy. And turn this one to minute, and turn this one to second. So now we got three private variables, but now they have no value. So what we want to do is give them a value. And we're going to do that by letting the user input the numbers. So let's go ahead and make a method to do this. So public void, since it's not going to return anything, you just name it set time, or you can name it anything you want. But this is also going to take three arguments, an h for hour, int m for minute, and int s for second. So it's going to take three arguments, but we just don't want to let them enter any number they want. Since the hour has to be between 0 and 24, the minute has to be between 0 and 60, since that's how many minutes there are in an hour, and the seconds also have to be between 0 and 60. So what we're going to do is check this data before we enter it. So let's put hour is equal to, and instead of just h, let's go ahead and check it. So let's go ahead and write... Um, let's just do this. Wow, would you look at that? If hour is less than or equal to zero, and you have to make an and because it needs to meet two conditions, and my ampersand is on seven. I put a bunch of stickers on my keyboard for After Effects, so now I can't see any of my symbols. I have to look at my um, uh, laptop for it. So, and now if hour is less than 24 so if it's between 0 what the heck just happened there I have caps lock on or something no nope. just a funky little thing uh, alright now hour is less than 24 there we go it messed up that time so if these two conditions are met and the question mark are these two conditions met then hour if not 0 and why is this little green bar right here? There we go. Must have been something with my screen recorder. So here's what we're saying right now. If hour is greater than zero and it's less than 24, then you can go ahead and use that number. If it's not, then go ahead and by default just put zero so we don't mess up our whole program just because they entered a wrong number. So now we need to do this for minute and second. So let's go ahead and change minutes and change this to M and change this to M and this to M and then go to guess what we're going to do next second and change this to s and this to s and this to s and make sure this hms uh, matches whatever you put up here and now don't forget to do this instead of 24 go ahead and change these to 60 I know you gotta change all this it probably would have been faster just to type it by hand but well we didn't so too bad so now that we got them to enter a time and what this is going to do when we call this method right here, they're going to enter three numbers as arguments. So what we want to do is we pretty much set the time right there, but we have no way to display it yet. So the first way I'm going to display it is through military time. So and that's the time where you don't you can use like um, 12 to 24. So you'll see what it is later. So public string since it's going to return a string since it's going to display something obviously to make sure I had to spell military right and it's going to take no arguments since it's just going to display and in the body I'm going to return string format and remember our format takes two arguments oh they already put them in for us how kind delete those kind but not kind enough why don't you fill in the rest of it for us it's going to take and remember in here you need to put percent and where's my percent sign above the five o two d colon percent o two d 
colon percent O2D. Make sure I got that right. And what this is going to do is display the first one at two decimal places and then add a colon. Display the second number at two decimal places and then add a colon. And then display the seconds at two decimal places. And after that, let's just go ahead and add what we want to put in. Hour, minute, second. And now that they're set right here, we can display them down here. So now just add a colon after that. And now we built everything we needed to. So now we can go to our main apples method right here, or apples class, excuse me, and we can begin building our objects. Since this was the tuna class, we need a tuna object for that. So tuna, tuna, object, and remember you need an object so you can use the crap inside the class. So equal new tuna, and first let's just go ahead and even though we didn't set a time yet, we can go ahead and display the military time just to see what it has for default. So system out and let's just go ahead and print line and put tuna object to what was it? To military. There we go. To military. And so we didn't set a time yet. So whenever we run this, make sure I don't have any X's anywhere it should give us all zeros by default so yeah save those and look at that by default we get all zeros right here so now now that I lost my screen recorder oh man hopefully it's somewhere in there whenever I uh, run this program my screen recorder goes behind my Java so I have no idea what's going on right now oh oh well anyways that's really annoying but anyways, let's go ahead and set the time now. So tuna, hopefully you guys can see this, object. And now we can go ahead and press set time. And of course, this is going to take three arguments. And let's go ahead and press something like um, 13 for hour and 27 for minutes and 6 for seconds. And now, once you run this, system out well we can just go ahead and copy this since we're lazy copy once after we set it we can go ahead and run this again and hopefully if I don't have any errors we can go ahead and see right here the first one was zero that was before we set the time and the second one when we set the time right here 132776 what that did is converted it all to military time and now I can see my screen recorder but still behind so now Dude, my screen recorder is messing up. Got to remember, fix that somehow. So now, let me show you guys what we did. In our set time, 13, 27, and 6, we went right here. Pass these in right here. 13, 27, and 6. It checked if 13 was between this. It was. We checked if 27 was between this and 6 was between this. Since it was, it used all the values and set them in the hour, minute, and second. And that was when we put print to military which was pretty much a display method it pretty much just put them in this format and displayed them out to us as you can see here so in the next tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use not military time regular American time or I don't know what it's called just regular time I guess so um thank you for watching in the next tutorial you definitely want to watch because we're going to need that information probably for the next couple of few tutorials so again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.